Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to give you a six month update on the LED lighting system on old grandma here, so stay tuned. So as it sits right now, all the exterior lighting on grandma is LED. And the reason why I have the left hand turn signal on is because it's been acting up. And normally it acts up and it goes into like hyper flash and then it stops. However, these are non hyper flash bulbs. I paid a little bit of extra for these and uh, so they seem to be giving me a little bit of trouble. The other thing is the LED headlight bulbs. They're super bright, which is great for me, but they impede oncoming traffic because they are so bright. I've got them adjusted down as much as I dare driving at night, uh, so it kind of makes it hard for me to see using them. And I'm not sure if you can tell on camera, but this light is giving me full light. And this one is only giving me about half, so it tells me that possibly an LED uh, it has burnt out on that side. So far, I'm not 100% impressed with these LED lights. Granted, they are bright and uh, they look cool. And maybe it's the brand, maybe it is last fit. And as you can see, the tail lights are very bright even though the lenses themselves are tinted. And I've got the backup uh, lights are LED as well as the license plate lights here on Grandma. At the end of the day, after six months, I am still having a few issues with these bulbs, uh, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go out to the shop, I'm going to replace all the LEDs back with regular incandescents and see if my problems still exist. So that's what we're going to do today. So here I'm pointing out that I've got the incandescent bulb switched in the turn signals as well as the cornering light, and as we walk around back you'll see that I've got them switched out there as well. Now, the ones in the rear don't seem to be as bright as the LEDs. However, they're gonna do the trick. They still show up through that tint with no trouble at all. So guys, now we've got the front headlights all switched out with some Sylvania Superstar or Ultra Star or something like that. They're not as bright to the eye to look at, but they certainly aren't flickering anymore on camera, that's for sure. But I've got them adjusted up a little bit. We'll have to check it out at nighttime as well to see if they are aligned properly. I guess I would have to say that at the end of the day, when it comes to switching an older car to something modern, sometimes it just doesn't work. I'll do a follow up on this video at a later date to let you know that everything is still going good. But until then, just keep watching these videos and look for more updates on different projects that we are doing. And on that note, I'm on my way home for the day. So guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you, God bless. We'll see you in the next video.